Alright viewers, loath as I am to be in this hellhole again, did we really think we could leave Kaguya here for too long without some sort of trouble starting? Kaguya answers the question. Yes, what's up with the princess? Oh, yes, a disaster. Moko! How pleasant to see you here. Yeah, it's such a shame. <laughs> oh, Kaguya. They're both pretty terrible. Now the real question is, why are you here? Oh, yeah, I, I suppose that's fair. Huh. Yeah, that does sound pretty irritating. Wow, Moko, that's pretty harsh. That's a TV. You don't just break a TV like that. You can come exploring with us. No, don't say but. No. But Moko, no. But Moko, no. Welcome to the fight against Fujiwara no Moko. She's got a million hit points. Oh, sorry about that. Skype just popped up there. Don't know how that happened. So yeah, she's got a million hit points. Um, she casts that auto healing, which busts her defensive mind, and she gains 12,000 uh, hit points back every turn. Um, obviously not over the 1 million minimum, but uh, it's, it, it's a hassle, put it that way. Um, but don't let what it says on the tin fool you. She doesn't really have a million hit points. I mean, she does theoretically, but the fact of the matter is that isn't exactly a reliable source. Um, once you get her down to, I believe, 688,000, She uses an ability called Resurrection, which will uh, remove all uh, debuffs and status effects on her, and boost her speed, and then she'll start spamming uh, Fujiyama Volcano. It's not a pleasant time for anybody. Now, some things you, you should know about the Moko fight. She can be paralyzed. <laughs> she can be very paralyzed, which is a wonderful thing. Um, if, if you can keep her paralyzed until that uh, 688,000 mark, so much the better. Because then you've uh, got yourself an easy boss fight. I seem to be experiencing right now. I am sure this won't last. Um, I actually found a way to uh, track the damage I'm doing to bosses um, without using a calculator, which really helps me out uh, for fights like Moko. Um, she's down around the 800,000 mark right now. And I would love to keep her paralyzed. Suwako, you're, you're, you're amazing. Keep, you keep doing what you're doing. Now, if you kept her paralyzed the entire fight, you could theoretically burn down all one million hit points and she would still die. But that's a really overcomplicated way of going about it. Now, she's obviously immune to instant death because she's a boss. She's immune to poison, which... Uh, she is not, however, immune to um, 
debuffs. However, if you debu debuff her speed, she's going to spam. Oh, I got, I got, I got her to resurrection. She's at eighty thousand hit points now. I, I, I need, to, I, I need to end her fast. Oh, by the way, flawless victory. Seriously. Um, she's probably going to kill somebody. It's probably going to be Suika. And Patchy, holy hell. But, um... Master Spark should finish her off. Wow, that was the easiest Moko fight I have ever had, ever. That is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, no you won't. No, she didn't last long at all. I didn't even... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was ridiculous. <laughs> what is this? That was a travesty. I mean, granted, it wasn't a flawless victory, but it was pretty damn close. I'm only six and a half minutes into the video! Anyway, I guess I might as well go over Moko, since I got nothing better to do. Uh, she's a mage-type character, as evidenced by her magic stat that is roughly three times her attack stat. Um, she's got her single target uh, uh, Flying Phoenix, Fire Elemental, obviously. Uh, Tsuki no Iwakasa's Curse is Wind Element and it debuffs attack and magic. Um, if you debuff her speed in the battle, she will spam that at you, and it will hurt. So, uh, yeah. Um, Wu, row target non-elemental. It's, it's there. And then Fujiyama Volcano is her, uh, big fire attack. Um, it, it, it's a multi-target nuke. It, it's not necessarily as good as, say, knockout in three steps, but it's a thing. And, uh... Might as well see if anyone leveled up from that battle. Ooh, Patchy did. Patchy, I'm proud of you. And Alice, and Rumia, and Nitori, and obviously Moko is level 64. Ah, oh, well. Um, I guess next time we'll take care of some more stuff on floor 14. Um, I'll see you then. Yeah, this was a thing.